everyone, I'm Jenna Rhodes, and I'm here today with Jerome Meza, whose Outlaw Sun album just came out on November 23rd. And I'm also here with Jim Morris, whose Moore Sound Studio here in Tampa is going to be opening up in the next couple of weeks. This studio is absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah we practice every day. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Yeah, I just can't wait to see what kind of incredible music comes out of here. Yeah, we're, we're excited. Very, very, very cool. All right, Jerome, we're going to go ahead and start off with you today. Oh, okay. Okay, how are you doing, by the way? Good, good. How are you? Good, I'm doing great. Excited to be here. How did you and Jim start working together? We hooked up back in 2014. Uh, I was doing a demo for an audition for Kansas. They, they hired somebody else, obviously, but hooked up with Jim to do the demo. And uh, we've been working ever since. Yeah, we kind of hit it off. I mean, it was easy for me because I oh, he, he opened his mouth and started singing like, Holy crap. <laughs> I think is, everyone has that deal. reaction. You know, I work with a lot of singers, and a lot of them are fantastic. And when another fantastic one walks in, you go, "This, I got to hook up with this guy. This this is, this is should be a working relationship, because the talent is pretty, uh, I mean, I, I see a lot of it, but the talent's pretty amazing. So, yeah. yeah. I actually mean that, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. Uh, I, I, you know, I looked around, and I looked for people to work with, and I... Miss Jim, as soon as I met Jim, you remember what I told you? I said, this project, I was looking for someone for the project. And I said, when I found Jim, I said, the project's going to be great. And, and it so. was great. And Jim, you've been in the Tampa Bay area for 38 years. Well, yeah, my brother and I opened Morrison in 1981. Okay. Uh, which, I mean, I guess I was in elementary school at that point. Um, <laughs> that's, all I'm, that's all I'm admitting to. I wasn't um, born yet, it's okay. Yeah, it's August. okay. <laughs> Thanks for that. I might feel really better. Um, so we, and, uh, we just kind of, uh, I mean, I, I could toot my own horn and say we've been the biggest in this area, but it's true. So, um, I mean, uh, there's a lot of fan there's always been a lot of fantastic studios in Florida. You know, I recorded it some before we opened Morris Sound, and we felt like the Tampa area was a great place to live, and a, and uh, it was kind of needing uh, more of the machinery of the entertainment industry. So we opened the, our our doors. Actually, about two miles from this building, we opened our first studio in uh, oh. in what's now called Seminole Heights. Um, in 1981. Okay, well that's awesome. So you're not too far from home, from your home base. In a way, yeah. Uh, in 85, we moved across town and we were there for a long time. And then we're, uh, like you said, we're about to, we're a week or so away from opening this new room, which we're really excited about. Absolutely, I'm very excited for you. It's great. Yeah, definitely. And Jerome, you've been away from the music business for a while. What made you come back and why? Well, it was uh, when Steve Walsh, announced his retirement I wanted to do the demo to, you know hopefully have an audition with Kansas that didn't work out and uh, I, I thought it was a good time to to do a solo album I always wanted to do one and uh, I hooked up with Jim for the solo album and some friends from LA to help me write it and uh, for, you know it's been non-stop ever since one project has led, led to another after another and here we are at Outlaw Sun you know, Outlaw Sun. Three or four albums later. You mean this? Yes. Outlaw Sun, which can be bought at DrellMazzo.com, <laughs> everybody. Go. <laughs> which is amazing, by the way. Thank you. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, you're it. not selling your copy, though, right? No. no. Okay, good. No, no, no. no. Sure. I have mine at home. All right. Okay? And I have it on, you know, Apple iTunes, Rocket in the Car. There you, there you I wouldn't go. do that to myself, no. And uh, since we mentioned that you've been in the Tampa Bay area for 38 years with your brother, with Morris Sound Studios, mm -hmm. I'm sure that besides Jerome, you've had, like you mentioned, a lot of incredible talent come through the doors. I mean, it's been a, it's been a really cool career, quite frankly. I mean, we, uh, I've got uh, a collection, uh, my own little private collection of gold and platinum records that I've worked on. And then some of the best artists, you know, I, I have to admit, no one's probably ever heard of them. Uh, I do have a few connections with the Kansas thing because I, uh, uh, after Kerry Livgren left Kansas, one of the guitar players that took his place for a while was a guy named Steve Morris from the Dregs. And I did his first solo album back in 84, I guess. And, uh, and I was always a big Kansas fan too. But, uh, so we've had a, and uh, he's never won a gold or platinum record, although he should have, Steve Morris. Um, and uh, so I have, I did, uh, uh, I have a gold and a platinum record with Warrant in the 90s and with Iced Earth and with Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Oh, very and cool. My brother has one with Seven Mary Three, uh, 
two golds and one platinum, I believe, with them, and also with the Trans Siberian Orchestra. And um, it's, and we have a pretty we've always had a great relationship with those guys because they started out as Sabotage, and I did their first record in '83. Okay. So it's been a you know I'm a hometown boy at this point. Yeah. You know, and I, I, we love the area, and I just think uh, you get a chance to meet artists like Jerome it has been the highlight of my career. And whenever you get to work with somebody that you think is uh, just a stellar talent, uh, it makes it all worthwhile. Absolutely. I, I agree with you, and I'm sure that it's very rewarding on both of your ends to work with someone that's just we kind of gets great. you. We work great together. Jim is just top notch. We have a lot of fun. We yeah, laugh a lot while we're working. Well, that's good. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's really, of course, we, there's a there's a third member of our trauma boot with yes. the, the laughing. We're not going to go into that there's right now. There's a piece that we're not even there's mentioning. A, there's an important <laughs> part of the system. Uh oh, I don't know if I want to know this. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just we, we're not we're not allowed to talk about it legally. But, oh, legally? Uh, okay. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's I think it's legal. It's okay. It could be medical. Is it legal? Oh, no, is it not legal? <laughs> we're, we're, we'll kind of just kind of leave that. We'll push yeah, that under but the rug. Yeah, but we have a lot of fun. I have always felt like if you're not having fun when you're recording, mm -hmm. you have screwed up something before that. So yeah, it needs it. to be. You need to enjoy yourself in recording. Jerome makes me laugh, and um, I'm sure I make him cry sometimes. But uh, <laughs> do that again, do that again. You know, until he wants to hit me. But it's been a—he's it, a lot of fun to work with in the studio, and so we laugh and we have a great time, and we get work done. Very cool. Well, We're that's the way page. to do it. We're on the same page. He yeah. throws out ideas left and right for me that I need, and I look for that. Yeah. You know, and you know that that yeah. helps. Tremendous. No singer is an island. Is that a saying? I've heard that. I've heard it should that. be. <laughs> should be a saying if it's not. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's great. We, we laugh and joke. It's great. It's great time. That's awesome. Very cool. And I've, I've been working with Jim ever since. Since the first, we did the solo album. We did uh, we did two solo albums. Yeah, two of them. We did the Steve Walsh album. Yeah. And the first Pinnacle Point. Yeah, and the first Pinnacle um, Point. And, and I, we're working on Pinnacle Point. We're working on another one. So it's. What was it like to be a part of Steve Walsh's oh, Black Butterfly? Absolutely amazing. I, I got a call at 5 a.m. in the morning and, you know, I was asked to be on the album and you know, when the shock wore off, I was like, let's go. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it was a dream. He was though. already up, though. Okay. Yeah, I was up. I was he was up at 5 Yeah, I heard you're an early riser. He's, no, he's not an early riser. He doesn't, I don't think, I don't, he's, he's like a anti-vampire. Yeah, oh. like he's up really, really early. Really, really early. Yeah, yeah I know. So I know he was up that. already. I, when he told me that that was going on, my first response was, how is that possible? I mean, both of us are big Steve Walsh fans. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, and there's an undeniable connection sonically between Jerome and Steve. I mean, you can obviously hear, that, I mean, there's a similar, there's similar tonality sometimes, mm -hmm. like expression and all these cool things that were pretty much obvious and have obviously, I mean, Jerome's obviously felt it in his soul ever since. So for the option or the possibility of a collaborative thing between those guys, I was stoked when he called me and said, we're going to do this thing. I'm yeah. like, that's All right. Me. And speaking about Pinnacle Point, like we were just a little bit ago, Okay. are you going to be doing a follow-up album? I think Absolutely. you already hinted at it. Yeah. We we're finishing up the writing on the last three songs and uh, we'll be recording and mixing over the next two, three months. Yeah. Right here? Yep. Right here in this at, fabulous at this studio? Board. Yeah. We're yeah. going to mix it together, and uh, awesome. I'm, I'm really uh, excited. There's some, can I say this about the songs on it? Can I talk about that? Absolutely. There's some, I won't say any names, there's some fantastic songs, some tracks on the new record that I think are some of the best stuff that Jerome has done, so I'm really excited for it. Wow, I can't wait to hear it. I mean, and I know your fans are stoked. I know they can't wait to hear. It's been a while. It's, yeah. It'll be two years. So two years from the last critical yeah. point. Two years. Yeah. Well, this is like this is like to the next level of pinnacle point. Wow. It really I, is. Okay. I must say, I brought in another writer, okay. Rich Ayala is his name. He's in. Uh, he's on the on the West Coast. Okay. And he helped tremendously in the writing. Uh, he's so. a talent. He's a talent, and he really understands what Jerome wants. Uh, I mean, when they're working, the, the work they've done together has been stellar. And I haven't had the chance to meet the guy in person. I just talked to him on the phone a few times. And but when you hear when the songs are done and you hear the record, you'll go, "Oh my God, this is this is the way it's supposed to be." It's really cool. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah.
a lot of fun. I can't wait to get it mixed. Can't wait yeah. to get Me it either. finished and, and done. <laughs> Very yeah, cool. Can't wait. Do you have an ETA for us? Yeah, I, I pretty, I'm pretty sure it'll be out by summer. By summer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, you hear that, fans? Summer, Pinnacle Point 2. Yeah. Mark your calendar. All right. And with all of your albums and with Pinnacle Point, with Outlaw Sun, with any of your material, do you have any plans to play live around the Tampa Bay area or just anywhere? That's in the works, actually. That, that's... Um, in the discussion right now after we get done with the album then we hope to be out by the summer okay uh, supporting the album and uh, you know hopefully overseas as well overseas as yeah. well oh gosh and i know that you have a lot of fans overseas yeah. so i'm sure they'll yeah. really yeah, enjoy I that, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah i can guarantee you that fantastic all right well that about wraps up the questions that i have is there anything that you guys want to add yeah, your hair looks great. How'd you do that? Thank you. Um, a little curling wand. Uh, don't, you know. I don't want to hear about it anymore. <laughs> Is that, that all the questions that you have? Oh, no, I just, I, I started asking the question about the hair and then I suddenly felt a crushing depression inside <laughs> when she started talking like it was some easy thing. Totally easy. It only took three hours. It only took three hours. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Just to wrap things up, if any of you guys would like more information on Jerome Mazza, you can go to JeromeMazza.com. At his website, you can also buy his 2015 self-titled album, along with his Pinnacle Point album, his Steve Walsh Black Butterfly album, or his just newly released Outlaw Sun album. You can also download any of those albums or songs on Apple, iTunes, or Amazon. If you'd like any information on Jim's More Sound Studios here in Tampa, Florida, you can visit moresound.com, and More Sound is spelled with one S. In conclusion, I would just like to say thank you guys both so much, Jerome and Jim, Thanks, yeah. for allowing me to sit with you today and talk with you about some amazing things. I wish you such great success in 2019. Thanks so much. We look forward to your new Pinnacle Point album in the future, in the summer. In the summer. Yes, and we look forward to seeing some of your live touring dates. Absolutely. Yes, great. And Jim, such great success to you and Thank your you. team here at Morris Sound Studios. You're going to do amazing. It's just a wonderful place. So guys, come and check it out. Thanks nice. so much. Jen Rhodes signing off. Bye now. Sure.